You're listening to Kayak Flyer with your host, Sean. Tonight, we're brought to you by Tennessee Trailers, OutdoorAdventureTrailers.com. Simply the best way to get your kayak to and from the water. Bajuco Flats Flyco. Simply the best custom-made fly rods on the market. Always built to order just the way you want it. Find Bajuco Flats Flyco on Instagram and Facebook. Stoneflynets.com, made 100% in the great state of Arkansas with your choice of woods or burls. Stonefly Nets can even be customized for that favorite fisher person in your life. Check out Stoneflynets.com for details. Cutthroatfurledleaders.com, the only leaders that I fish with. Cutthroat Furled Leaders are excellent for saltwater, freshwater, trout, bass, you name it, you can catch it with a Cutthroat Furled Leader. Head to Cutthroatfurledleaders.com, promo code KAYAK to save 15%. Well, every week I say Adam's going to be back, and then I turn into a liar. Um, as you can tell by my face, if you're watching the YouTube, we're... Recording at a different time this week, and this is the only time the sunlight comes in this window. Um, half an hour earlier, half an hour later would make a, a difference, but I did not consult the sun when I came down here. Um, yeah, Adam's at a back to school, so he uh, he's not with us tonight. Hopefully, he'll be back with us next week. But I'm going to tell you what, you know, even when the going gets tough finding guests, which the summer, and the, especially the late summer, it is always rough to find guests. You always know that there are a couple of people that have your back and are always there for you. And one of those folks for the podcast, which is why I strongly suggest you shopping with him, is Nick Dooley at Dooley's Fly Fishing. Say 15% promo code kayak. And Nick, your brick and mortar store is now open in Peoria, Illinois. But there's a lot of exciting things, even for your online shoppers. And that promo code works for online shoppers, guys. Yeah, we're in Quincy, Illinois. Oh, sorry. We're good. Ben's in Peoria. in Peoria. I get confused. <laughs> Chicago sorry. South is where he's at. So Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're open. We've been open since uh, the end of March, uh, 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, 9 to 2 on Saturdays. Um, we've got a huge fly shop. I've got a couple of videos on the internet. I've got to do another one of a tour of it. Um. It's, it's pretty awesome. We're in the uh, basement of an old theater, which was uh, built in 1924. The floors here are still original from 1924. So it's got a cool, old, historic vibe, but it's a cool place. Yeah, and I'm going to get to come up there in October. Mm -hmm. uh, Kyle Ludwig and I are, are planning on driving up together, so um, we might make it. We might not. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but you've got a lot of really big news. I, I, and I follow you on Facebook and everybody else should too, but you're always doing some really neat stuff, whether it's the waffles or whether it's just the exciting new products you're getting, or even making an, an announcement that some things are drying up, you better get them now. And so I'd like to cover all three of those things in whichever order you'd like to. Okay. So first, uh, with the the waffles, that's still something we do. Uh, for people that don't know, that's just a way of saying raffle on Facebook without having the gambling police kick in your door. Um, <laughs> we try to do those. We always have at least one or two going. Uh, we've done rods, reels, vices, lighting hackles, uh, just a little bit of everything. Right now we've got a nice five-weight setup and a vice with tools and a gift card going. Um now, so, I have entered one yeah. of these, and I did not win, so it's not rigged. Anybody can win because I didn't. Yeah, I tried to make it work for you, but I just couldn't make it happen. <laughs> um, as far as the new stuff goes, uh, we have been blowing up with new suppliers lately. Um, obviously, we've grown. We went from selling flies to people I work with to selling materials online to selling a lot of materials online to uh, having a brick-and-mortar shop in Quincy, Illinois. So um, we've got, we just picked up Echo Fly Rods last week. Uh, mm -hmm. They're a great, great fly brand. Um, really excited to get those. Uh, we've got, right now we've got all of the lift rods in stock. And we've got the lift kits in stock. Uh, we've got a bunch of their other stuff coming. We've got a bunch of the kid kits coming, the gecko kits. Hopefully we'll get them in before uh, Christmas. Uh, today, I just picked up Komodo hooks from Yellowstone Fly Goods. I don't know if that's something anybody's familiar with. 
I am not. What can you tell a little bit more about it? Um, they are very similar to Daiichi and Firehole in nature. They're made in Korea, I would say, okay. in a similar geographic location. Um, they come in 50 packs. They're very inexpensive for what you get. Um, <clears throat> picked them up for two reasons. One, their salesman is uh, Ken Beck. He's a nice guy. I know him. But the other reason is I put on Facebook, we're having a heck of a time with certain materials and hooks is one of those things. And these guys just got a whole shipload of them. So uh, that's going to help us out a lot. Yeah. Well, mark me down. I'll be buying some. Yeah, they've got, they got a lot of big like bass and predator and stinger hooks like that. That's something you might be really interested in. Yep. I'm almost exclusively mm -hmm. FTD on my big hooks now. I've uh, Fly Tires Dungeon has been, and you carry them, mm -hmm. they, they've up their hook game like crazy and i've been using a lot of those um actually we'll have a new video on facebook before long where i made a dubbing brush and then i'm using the big hooks uh, the big game hooks and the big shanks to make a really big articulated fly i'm excited <laughs> about putting that together i keep forgetting to put that on my order with him i'm actually going to put an order this week so i need to get that those hooks on there i've been yeah, thinking about does. it and doing it and... i like them a lot and for the price man I mean, yeah. for the price for me, I can't beat it. You can't beat any of their stuff for the price. It's unreal. And I'm sure you get a really good price on it. I get a great discount. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I don't even ask him to sponsor the show because I'd lose money. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Some other brands we got. Uh, we just added Umqua and TMCO. So we have TMC hooks, Umqua hooks. Uh, Umqua packs. We just got a chest pack and a sling pack in, which people have been wanting for a long time. The Tiemka hooks. I got to ask you a question. Is mm -hmm. it is it me? Because they come in boxes of fifty. I get them in twenty five packs. Okay. Here. Well, I think the last ones I got was a box of fifty, and they seem to be kind of high mm -hmm. compared to other hooks. Is that my imagination, or is that the case? No, I think they're one of the more expensive out there. Um, they've been around forever. I've and they're good and, hook. Yeah, they're really good and, hooks. And they're probably worth the money, but it just seemed to me like they were a little high for, I think I was buying size 14s. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, guys like know. us that put half of our flies in trees, it's kind of hard to pay a dollar yeah. hook. <laughs> oh. um, I also just found out that we're going to start carrying fish pond stuff. I got Ooh. that all worked out so i'll be uh, getting my first order of that in we've got uh rio lines and reddington rods and reels on the horizon it's not completely worked out but it's uh worked out in words right now yeah the uh only fish pond uh, well i guess it's the only fish pond i got a sling pack for christmas mm -hmm. and i got the tippet holder and i'm gonna tell you what that sling pack has saved me so much time and I would have never spent the kind of money because it's a hundred dollars. I'm mm -hmm. not going to lie. Yeah, they're not, they're not cheap. No. And my wife got it for me for Christmas. And if I'm on the kayak, I've got it on the kayak. If I'm waiting, which I've waited more this year than I ever have, I've got it with me when I'm waiting. It's with me all the time. I get it taken away from me from my friends that are getting into my <laughs> fly boxes. I mean, it is a great, that sling pack, I really like. I've never had one, but I really, that one, I think I made the right choice when I picked it out. I've always been a vest guy, but I'm, since I got my kayaks a couple months ago, finally, I'm kayak fishing now. Yep. Um, I've been looking for either a chest pack or sling pack. So I think yep. I'm either going to pick up one of the Umqua or fish pond ones. I haven't decided which one I'm going to take yet. But. And I haven't looked at the Umqua, but for me, I was always a vest guy kayak fishing i wear the pdf and there's just too much going on so the sling pack is perfect for me yep that's the problem i had when i tried to wear my vest i had the pdf over it and couldn't get stuff out and mm -hmm. weigh almost 300 pounds so doing that on a kayak and dancing trying to get flies out not a good combination hey, that 250 it's not a good combination <laughs> i'm just a couple pounds away from the 300 pound club so i'm getting my award for myself ready <laughs> Um, let's see, more rice. We uh, just kind of re-upped our, our deals with more rice. I don't know if you guys are familiar with those. It's a super high quality vice. Yeah. Really it's, popular. Yeah, I uh, I tried to get a person from them on the show, and I was like, so, you know, if you want to donate one to the show, and they're, uh, they're like, uh-huh, yeah, uh, no. 
<laughs> yeah, I tried the same thing. <laughs> we need to get some. We've never had somebody from a vice be on the show. And then the Norvice guy that you got me in touch with was super nice. He, on the day he was supposed to record, a family member was in an automobile accident mm-hmm. and just nothing ever jived up again. But I would love to get somebody to talk vices because every time I look online, and I know you're looking at the same social mm-hmm. media as I am, vices are a big question. And I would love to sit and talk about that just one day. Yeah, I spend a lot of my time, uh, I call it giving information. Other people call it vulturing the uh social media pages but when people put those posts out i like to tell them what we have in my two cents um i'm a peak guy i've been tying on a peak for two and a half years it's the only vice i'll probably ever tie on the rest of my life i traded in my Renzetti and my regal because i like it so much but um the more vices have me tempted especially if they have a dubbing table that attaches straight to it yeah so but that's something i'm into Rick with Oasis, that dubbing table, it's not cheap, but it's worth every dime. That is something I'm working on as well. I've got a message into him. I'd really like to get those in the shop. If you don't get one in the shop before October, I will bring mine. Okay. While we're on October, I'll bring that up real quick so I don't forget it. So October 2nd here in Quincy from uh, 5 until whenever we're having, this is a mouthful. I don't know why I came up with this name, but... It's the uh, first annual Dooley's Fly Fishing Fall Fly Flingers Festival. Um, <laughs> <laughs> How many F's do you have in that? <laughs> well, it matches the F's in most of my other conversations. <laughs> so we're going to have food and soft drinks provided. Uh, BYOB is welcome and encouraged. Um, we're going to have, I know you and Kyle are going to come. Mm-hmm. Uh, Daryl that does the Missouri on the Fly podcast is going to come. We don't plug other podcasts on here, no matter how good of friends we are. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> I played yours on his last night, so it's all the same. We'll I'll have to get Daryl to ride with Kyle and I. Um, and then Ben says he's going to come, but we'll see. We'll see what Ben does. <laughs> and then I've got invites out to several other people. Um, trying to get some really big fish. Those guys are all great. You guys are all great, but I'd like to get somebody from some of the dealers to come and talk products with people is what I'm really trying to push for. I invited a guy. Awesome. I invited Nick Chiberia. He won, and he's not a fly fisherman. He's a kayak fisherman, but he mm-hmm. won a Hobie tournament. So he's going to be in that tournament of champions. And I just thought, you know, he's fly fished a little bit. Awesome. I thought it'd be neat for a competitive fisherman to be there. And I, we, and I were fishing, Sunday and I said, "Hey man, you want to go?" And he's like, "He was like, if I've got nothing going on, I don't have any any tournaments." He's like, "Yeah." So I thought it might be neat to see yeah, his perspective. Oh, definitely. Yeah. He watches all of us fly fish every time we go, and we just cannot get. Especially, he's not fly curious. Yeah, well, we'll get him there. Get him in a <laughs> in a enclosed old dusty basement with some alcohol and a bunch of fly fishers. Maybe we can change him over to the good side. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe he can do some tournaments with the fly rod. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I'm trying to get some more people. If you want to invite anybody, anybody's welcome. I have no no uh, on who comes. I, would, so. I wouldn't hesitate to invite <laughs> Ethan. Um, I'll invite Pablo, but I don't think he's going to fly up here. That's um, true. Yeah, and I don't know if Dave would send anybody from Tennessee Trailers or not, but, man, they're, they're cool guys. Um, and same thing with Mike out at, at uh, Cutthroat. That's a long drive. Yeah, we um, have his stuff now. I got his stuff after being on the podcast. Oh, so good. We you like it? Stuff. I love his stuff. I've got it on all my rods. Uh, they are the number one selling leaders we have by far now. Nice. Um, I really dig that big bug leader. That's my yeah. favorite one. Did you mention to him when you talked to him about I me? Did. I did. Yep. Good. And uh, I've got a good relationship going with him. I think we've got three orders back and forth now. So Doesn't he sound funny? I haven't talked to him on the phone. I did it all via email. He's from New England. Oh, He's God. like from Massachusetts. Yeah. And he cute. went on vacation and never left. I could see that happening. So, yeah, he's he's hilarious to talk to on the phone because you think you're going to get this guy from the West. And he's like, hey, I got my keys in the car. Let me <laughs> give me a minute. That's what I was thinking when you said he sounded funny. I'm like, well, everybody I deal with is in Montana, Washington, or Wyoming. But... Yeah, they, no, they don't. he doesn't sound like them. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's a great guy, though, and their stuff is oh, phenomenal. I, wonderful. I wonderful, know, man. I, I couldn't believe that something as simple as a leader could make that huge of a difference, but it really does. 
I'm going to tell you what, and the great thing about those leaders, and I'm just going to, and I'll let you get back to it, but I'm going to tell you what, guys, if you're ordering a leader um, and you can order it from Dooley and save 15%, you can order it from and save the same 15% from uh, Mike, but a cutthroat leader, you'll have a big bug leader, a streamer leader, and a dry leader or a nymphing leader on a six weight when you're fishing, depending on what you're fishing for. But you can take those off, roll them up, stick them back in the package, you know, let them dry out, stick them back in the package, throw on a different one, and it's less than a minute to put one of those on with that loop-to-loop connection, and bam, now you're floating a hopper dropper instead of a streamer. Great, great leaders. And they put the tippet ring on the end, so I don't have to try to do that. <laughs> on the, yeah, you can order them with or without mm-hmm. a tippet ring, and that is amazing. But yeah, they're, they I've been with them longer than the podcast has been going, and I've, uh, you know, and... uh Fly Tires Dungeon too. I mean, very few of the guys are via the podcast, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, they're they're all great folks. Well, I just think we've I don't know between dealing with you and other people and picking up all these smaller brands. That's kind of what I've been building myself up with, and I kind of mm-hmm. like it because we're all kind of the little fish in the big ocean sticking together, trying to fight back against the three or four mega shops, and it's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, you know, I went to uh, I went to Cotter. And I stopped by Dally's because it was on the way there. And he's got a nice fly shop. I'm not, I'm never going to knock his fly shop. It's a nice fly shop. The guys there are experienced. They know what they're talking about. And it's very spacious. You know, you walk into a lot of fly shops and everything's really, really crowded. But I went down to Copper John's and it's by the dam there north of Cotter. And it was a cramped fly shop. but the gal working there, her and her husband own it. She was just far and above just very outgoing and nice. And, you know, some of these times when you go in, like there's two in St. Louis, one of them's more of a company and one of them's more of a, Hey, bring a six pack of beer. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some people are more comfortable with going in like to a sterile environment. And some people are like me that want to sit around and talk for hours and, it's two very different styles, but you know, that's, that's the way it is. We put bar stools in at the counter when we built this place. So we're that kind of place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's the kind of place I would like, cause I could sit down and if you said, I said, Hey, how do I tie this? You would sit down with me and you'd help me tie one and then I can find my materials and be out the door. I do that all day, every day. Uh, I'm the only full-time employee here. So I'm the janitor, the CEO, the maid, I do everything. Um, but yeah, I, I love it. I retired from the ambulance on June 20th. Um, with my back the way it was and the way things were going in the world and the way this was taken off, it was just perfect timing to yep. step off the truck and do this. And oh yeah, I haven't looked back. I, I don't miss it. I absolutely love doing this. It, yeah. Plus, you can resuscitate them when they have a heart attack at looking how much a new rod is. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it, the exactly. This rod's only ninety nine bucks. If anybody's well, wondering. Um, one other thing I want to mention on uh, September the eighteenth. Uh, we're having Stan Darnell. Are you familiar with him? No. He uh, does t- tattoo fly fisher fly right. shop. He does all kinds of really cool. He ties everything, but he's really good at uh, like the older salmon patterns and doing cool stuff like that. Um, he was supposed to tie it to Conclave, but got canceled because of COVID. So he's going to come up that day, hang out at the shop and tie. If anybody's around and wants to meet and greet with him and see somebody that can tie a heck of a lot better than me, uh, that's a good opportunity. Yeah. I'll have to get. You'll have to put in a nice word. And we'll get him on the show. I bet he'd do the show. He's he's a really outgoing guy, and he's he's been on. He's like my second pro staff member behind Ben. So no, I was your second. I just never <laughs> sent you a photo. Yeah, I'm still waiting on the photo in the bio, man. Well, I thought you'd just steal one from Facebook, and then Kyle told me you made him pro staff. He was he was all excited. I'm like, dude, I just haven't sent him my photo. He's I'm like, I'm not shirt and everything. I didn't get a shirt. Photos for shirts, man. <laughs> That's something I am going to be working on too, is getting that part of our website uh, fixed up. Cause uh, well, I, I got more time on my hands to do the tech stuff now than I used to. So well, I will send you my bio and uh, my YouTube channel. So everybody can see when I tie the fly medic boxes. That's awesome. I appreciate you doing that too. And you oh, still I love it. Your, still one of your patterns this month. That's getting mailed out tomorrow. So everybody's going to like that. And I, <laughs> I'm ready to fish it. I've got it tied on my six weight. Next time I go, it's ready to roll. It, so. It's a beautiful pattern. Beautiful pattern. The, the uh, Smalley Pig, if you guys haven't bought it yet, you need to grab it. Yep. So. 
Um, so that's that. Uh, we also are doing guiding out of here. I've been doing some guiding, uh, particularly for carp has been the main trip we've done. Um, we've got some really different fisheries up here. We've got uh, old, where they used to mine sand and gravel out over in the northeast part of Missouri and made these deep, clear lakes that clear up real fast, but they're just full of carp because every time it floods, they go in there. Yep. And yep. it's a great place to fish. Those old mining pits, we've got them over in southern Illinois, and they are insane. You can catch bass, drop down the water column 50 feet, and you're catching trout mm -hmm. on yeah, the hottest August day of the year. It's awesome, and I love it because the weather we've had here where it's rained so much this year, mm -hmm. the sand bottoms clean up in a couple of days, and you have clear water again. Because the way I fish for carp is sight fishing, just like mm -hmm. going bone fishing. And, uh, yeah, that's been a blast. So we've been doing that. Uh, we've got classes. Um, we're going to do our, uh, we're doing our monthly fly tying classes here in the shop, but we're also going to add a virtual option for that. Nice. Where we're going to set up a camera at the table and we're doing it and people can chip in their money and I'll send them their, uh, their material pack and they can tie together with us. That way they don't have to trick or if we get locked down or shut down or whatever's going to happen this winter, we can all still tie together. That's a great idea. And can you have, you, maybe you could have a virtual guest. Maybe Kyle can tie one night. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about doing that and doing uh, like, uh, oh, like an open forum. Everybody has a camera and ties flies and shoots the crap type of thing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Gretchen and Al Beatty, they're doing theirs on Zoom and posting them on Facebook Live. And, man, they have a heck of a following. That's so a that's a really good idea. I'm glad you're doing that, man. Yeah, we're working on stuff. I, like I said, having more time, not focusing on saving people's lives anymore and letting all that stuff go. I've yeah. really How many wrecks have you driven past and just ignored? All the time, man. Yeah, it's <laughs> every day, like 10 car pileups, and you're like, nope, dee 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 dee. My uh, paramedic license, stethoscope, and boots got the Tannerite treatment, so I will never go back to that again. Not that it's not a rewarding career, not that I'm not thankful for the people that still do it, but the right. world we live in and the shape that my back got in and the weight that uh, the average American has become, it is just not, it's a young man's game. You, you yeah. can do it until you're about 30, and then you got to get out. Yep. And I've got a lot of former students that went into that area and they will tell you the exact same thing. It's wonderful. It's fulfilling. You get to help people, but the pay is crap. And what you have to go through on the bad days is mm -hmm. the worst. The pay, the politics and the bad days is just not worth it. Yep. And we're, we've got that problem in a lot of industries. Though. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, you know, somebody was talking at school the other day and they said something. I said, look, I said, I'm, I'm I've got this podcast i've got another podcast i produce i've got a third podcast that's working on being produced and then uh kyle and i are working on the youtube show and i'm like i'm just waiting for the day that i can just take uh because the llc is flying kayak mm -hmm. I'm like i'm just waiting until the day flying kayak becomes a network and i can quit and do podcasts all the time and and not even talk on them just do like i do with the other ones where i just sit here and move the buttons <clears throat> Yeah, that's if it's what you love to do, man. Like, like I said, going from that to sitting down here drinking coffee, tying flies, and visiting with people, it's yeah. been well worth it. I miss the uh, ninety-six hour with fifty-six hour overtime paychecks, but yeah. And if you'd switch that coffee to beer, I'd come live in the shop. Well, we could probably do that until the <laughs> beer prices come up, like everything <laughs> else has come up. But <sighs> so I think that's it for my big announcements. I got. Um, I think I missed anything. The fly medic boxes are still going on. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of lost a little steam with those when I got sick, couldn't make videos. I know you helped me out that month and then yeah. had some product shortages and ticked a couple people off that were subscribed, but I've got them back rolling good now. This month, everything went smooth. So hopefully we can get that fired back up like it was because I, uh, I kind of ordered from a couple of the other um, subscription boxes just to check it out. And I, I think we were competing pretty good with them as far as what you get and everything. So I know I've always been happy with mine. And as a person that doesn't have a local fly shop, um, uh, St. Louis is my closest fly shop, which is just at a hundred miles away. And it's all, it's not in the city. So I've got to take 270 around and it's a mess. And you're likely to get shot. Um, <laughs> I've always bought flies by I want to tie this fly. And my materials have grown. 
But the great thing with the fly medic box is I can look at which materials I may not have a lot of, and I can master that fly. And I know the Griffin that uh, was one that I was like, oh, this is going to be like really hard. But the way the fly was set up and through practicing with your basic box for trout flies as a streamer guy, and everybody knows this, working those other flies, especially the Rainbow Warrior, which I tied, I liked so much, I bought some more stuff to tie. I bought some more hooks and some more beads. I felt so confident when I tied that Griffith Snat. It's one of my go-tos now to fly, to tie and fish. And, Mm -hmm. you know, for a a guy like me, no matter how old you are, no matter how long you've been tying, the Fly Medic Box to me is the premium of the, the services you offer. Yeah, I think so too. And um, I gave the same service to that that I give to everything else. I've I answered a lot of phone calls and emails and helped people get that figured out. And um, I've got a lot of good customers that have started with, hey, I just got advice and tools to now they're mastering these flies and tying other flies. And it's pretty cool to watch them grow. You even take drunk text messages at 2 a.m. saying, I was watching a YouTube video. Yeah, my wife thought that was going to stop when I started doing the 9 to 5 thing. But like I said, we got customers all over the U.S. and all over the world. So whenever that phone rings, if I'm awake, and I still keep weird hours because I still haven't got my sleep quite fixed from the old medic days. But You can say it. It's because Kyle gets drunk and tech shit to a.m. You can yeah. say that. <clears throat> That's another guy whose fly tying has just gone through the roof. I His talent is unbelievable. I I remember you, when he first started, I don't know if he first started tying, but he first started posting mm-hmm. on a stupid, simple fly tying and just watching how far he's come in the last couple of years is awesome. I'm pretty excited to get to meet him in person. That's why I am so excited about this new venture he and I might do. Um, we've got to change the name. It's it's a one bourbon and two beers, <laughs> but it has nothing to do with flies. And I'm like, mm-hmm. we've got to put flies in there at some point in time, but it's Basically, it's going to be uh, he and I tying like your basic box and then he and I tying your advanced box. So it'll be an every two week thing so that people can make fun of. And I'm sure this is why he did it. Just so people can make fun of my advanced fly tying on a trout. (laughs) But I'm going to make him do a streamer once in a while so people can make fun of him. Yeah, he does a lot of small stuff. (laughs) Call it hooks, bourbon and beer. That'd be catchy. Yeah, that would be. That would be. It's better than the first annual fall fly flingers. (laughs) <laughs> hey, are you going to have a fly casting competition out in the uh, back 40 there? We have talked about it. Um, I'm working on it. We might have to go somewhere else. I don't know if you saw some of my personal page. Yeah, I did. And that's why I didn't know if we would put like a hook on it and then we could be like, you know. Yeah. Put a hook in a $20 bill and yeah. catch the local hobos. Yeah. yeah catch the hobo. It's pretty safe to come to the shop just so everybody knows. It's I've never yeah. had anything broken into, but it is uh, – Quincy has a hell of a drug problem. It's a river community, and they have all migrated to the park directly across the street from the shop. So. You know, and that's something I would I would lo- I would really like to have a podcast where I could talk about those issues because I think they're important. And I think that's something that a lot of us try to ignore. I know I certainly do. Um, but you know, it is what it is, and things are the way they are. But you know, you're not going to be in in any danger going to Dooley's. I'm mm-hmm. not worried about going up there in October. Hell, I mean, I'm not worried about going most places but then again i'm married with three kids so you know <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've, I've been to hell and back <laughs> it's just it's just a little unsavory sometimes when you yeah. have to see that but yeah i just put that warning out there on facebook to people just to kind of be prepared and where is that not happening i mean i saw i was really impressed the other day i saw two homeless men giving each other vaccines down by the river and i thought wow That's america crazy. is really coming together that's really good. I'm glad. Yeah. I wonder if it was the Pfizer, the FDA approved one or not. Yeah, I, I hope it was. But they they were both injecting each other, and I was like, "Wow, this is America." About time. <laughs> yeah, the drug problem has gotten to be just absolutely horrible. Yeah, we don't, we don't need to go into that. But yeah, it's 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 bad. Um. So anyway, about the fly casting. Yeah, we we have a really nice city park here. Mm-hmm. Um. That's out. It's probably a 10 minute drive from the shop. And that's where I usually do my fly casting lessons, my fly fishing classes, stuff like that. 
I don't know how feasible that would be on that day, but I know we're going to have uh, like a fly tying contest. I'd like to do an iron fly contest. I've been to one of those, so if you need help, let me know. I'll help you yeah. organize it. Me and Ben did one in St. Louis. Okay. Uh, it's probably been four years ago, three years ago. Now, you're not inviting Pig Farm, are you? Who's that? They're the ones that do the iron fly, but everybody there gets a homemade tattoo. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not my cup of tea at all. <laughs> I think they use the same needle. I don't know. I've never been to a pig farm one, but I know a couple yeah. of guys that I used to talk to quite a bit. Uh, they had a, a very, very small podcast for a very short amount of time, and they were sponsored by Pig Farm. And both of them had uh, homemade tattoos from the pig farm guys. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm just going to grab a bunch of random materials and put mm-hmm. uh, probably with all of you guys up against each other and then let yeah. people uh, judge it. A flip flop is a good is a good one because then you've got to cut out the head for the popper and everything else. I've tied a lot of flies with flip flops. Yep, and and you know just going into that stuff that people haven't tied with before and seeing what they can do. Um, watching guys make dubbing noodles that are, you know, where they can't cut the material, but you give them like some FTD material that's mm-hmm. long. And now they've got to make a big bait fish fly or whatever fly they want to, but they've got to use it. There's a lot of really cool things you can do. Um, tying your left hand to your behind your back or your right hand behind oh, your back. So you've got to tie with just your left hand. Yeah, I wouldn't be able yeah. to do that. Yeah. I did ours with Joe Jackson. Are you familiar with him? I'm not. He's super into the deer hair stuff. He's one of the most artistic. And it was cool watching him do that because yeah, yeah. he just took all this junk and made a piece of art. But Deer hair deer hair is my uh, – deer hair and size 20 flies are my two arch nemesis. I cannot tie them. So I think all. we'll do a size 20 deer hair caddis for our next yeah, box then. That would work. That would. Yeah, I then, used to then, be like that about deer hair, but I've really – pushed myself and now it doesn't bother me at all i used to uh, you can can attest to this i would not tie a deer hair fly i hated it i'd buy them from somebody before i tied them but now i I love it i think my problem is i just i have like one strip of deer hair and every time i mess it up i just look at how oh i've got to order some more and i'm like Mm -hmm. just sort of backed off from it i think if i just bought a couple of things of deer hair and some hooks and just dove into it because man, the way you stack those and you spin the hair and then you stack the other hair and you don't spin it. And then when you cut it, you get these intricate patterns. It's beautiful, mm-hmm. but you know, it's Even just the, uh, like the fishing heads, like what Kelly Gallup does with mm-hmm. the streamers and stuff. That's what I've gotten into. And oh, we don't mention his name. We don't mention Kelly's name. He didn't, he, he didn't want to come on the show. What a jerk. He said we didn't have enough listeners. Well, we'll get some more and you can try it yep. again. Yep. Yep. So, you got me though. I mean, that's I do. A, that's a good. Oh, I should invite book. Polly. I should invite Polly Ann up to uh, up to the thing on the second. Yeah, and you can, I told her you can invite anybody you want. She used to guide with Kelly. That'd be cool. She's cool, and she lives like ten minutes from me. She's really cool. Yeah, I'll take anybody. Anybody we can get to spark into the conversation of different yeah. menus and things would yeah. be awesome. It's great because she's an excellent fly fisher. I don't know if you if you follow Polly Ann. I don't. Uh-uh. Yeah, she man. She is pulling hogs out of cotter constantly. I mean, she's just thirty inch brown trout every other one. It's like incredible. God, I wish. Ah, tell me about it. Well, that's my list of stuff I had to bring up about uh, all the new and exciting things going on here. Well, I'm going to say a couple of things, and one of them might be a bit derogatory. And I apologize, but I see over your shoulder you have that Swiss clip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are those so expensive? Uh, Because the guys at one of the mega fly shops that I won't mention use them, and that automatically adds 20% to everything they touch. Because those things are like 60 bucks. I'm like, yeah, "Yeah, those things would be great for CDC. And and I'm like, but I'm not paying that. No, I I don't even tie with one myself. I've sold a bunch. People went crazy for them when we got them because they were out of stock for so long. But yeah, I I can see buying one. And if I had if I had my old job paycheck, I would buy one. Um, But I don't have my old job paycheck. I have the school teacher paycheck again. Mm -hmm. And that's that's not going to happen. But man, there are there are things like that and i'm not gonna lie uh when i first started tying flies and i looked at river road creations i was like damn those are expensive you know um three kids a wife you know i mean a school teacher paycheck 
those things, they're not cheap. Mm -hmm. But I noticed something that you posted the other day about investing in your hobby. Mm -hmm. And I haven't told this story yet. I don't believe I used a uh, stealth bomber. Well, first I used a uh, more shopper uh, first cast the other day at my buddy's pond. Nice bass. I mean, a really nice bass on the hopper. Third cast bass hit it. I set the line. And when I did, it popped the tippet. Mm. And I was using like size two X tippet. It wasn't like it was small stuff. It was a big fish. And I know there's some big fish in there. Changed over to a stealth bomber from River Road Creations. Again, using all River Road Creations. And I caught my personal best out of his pond. And, you know, top water and foam. Guys, these are great things to use, you know. Um, but like I said, I always thought it was really, really expensive. And for the action you get, it's not that bad. I was fishing the other day with a hopper dropper. I couldn't buy a smallmouth. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have bought a smallmouth. I threw everything. I threw a hopper dropper. I had a smallmouth on the second cast hit the Rainbow Warrior underneath it. Yeah, I, I love that River Road stuff. And I kind of spoil myself more now than I used to because I'm like a kid in the candy store here. When new stuff comes in, it's hard to put it on the shelf. Yeah, well, the thing is, is you've got to demo it and show and people how it, yeah. how it works. I mean, there's only so much you can, I mean, you can go onto my YouTube page and you can see all the flies that I've tied, which I would strongly suggest watching the fly tying on the, on this month's fly medic with the, uh, uh the Smalley pig, um, just because it's been out there and it's been revised two or three times, uh, to fit everything that you've got going on. But man, you know. I couldn't imagine sitting there and having access to all that. No, it's hard. It's really hard. <laughs> but so, it's part of it. Business yeah. experience. And it, it helps me be a better business owner because I can legitimately tell people I've used this stuff, you know. It's, yeah. Well, I don't have anybody that sponsors the show that I don't. And I don't talk about anybody that sponsors the show that I don't believe in. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a big thing is I believe in them. Mm -hmm. Um, one of my sponsors had wanted to sponsor the show and I bought a product just to make sure that, you know, what I was talking about was right. And, and great guy, you know, one of the great, one of the great guys, but if like the ones who haven't been on the show or, or I didn't know before the show, the ones I met during the show, I made sure to get a product and check it to see if I like it. And I think any responsible person that's in the industry will do that. Yeah, I do that with all these new vendors, like the hooks I just got. I got some of those to try. I've got, I mean, most of the companies will send me stuff to try too, just to make sure before I, I go full bore and saying it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, I want to make sure it actually is. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> what, you know, I got some stuff from Rick and, and I'm going to tell you, I've got his fly caddy. And it's not the one, because I've got a big base, which I'm going to bring up some stuff to you on the second. Mm -hmm. um, but I've got a big base for my fly tying uh, vice so it doesn't spin. So I didn't need one that attached, but I got the fly caddy. My Lord, I am tying, and you would not think this, I'm tying faster because I now have stuff set up. Mm -hmm. And I'm not looking to the left and looking to the right and wondering where I sat it. Because I've trained myself to put that stuff away. But I do have some uh, granite and some quartz that I'm going to bring up to you and you can do as you with for uh, fly bases. That'd be awesome. I've been working on uh, making some driftwood tool holders too to sell yep. in the shop because I made myself some and people like them when they see them. So I'm working on finding that. And... The other ones that are really <laughs> pretty, if you're going to make it yourself as a DIY, um, go out in the fall. If you don't deer hunt, go out after deer season and look for sheds in January mm -hmm. and, uh, deer horns. Uh, now you've got to wear, you really need to wear a, like a COVID mask. And then you need to put some other stuff in there because it's a, that bone is really small. It gets mm -hmm. through all that. So you've really got to be careful with how you do it, but you can just take a regular drill and drill your holes in there. And, uh, man, they look really good. I've done a lot of stuff with deer like that. I've made knife antler or antler knife holders and stuff like that. But I've got, I think I got a small deer antler uh, thread holder I made back there somewhere. Yeah. And just took the chips just, and polished them down. And, yeah. 
it's neat. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things you, you don't have to buy everything, but like me, I'm not a woodworker. I tried to make a dubbing brush table and I failed miserably at it. And I'm like, eh, eh, eh it's, I'll get one from Rick. So that's the first you know. thing I'm buying when I become a dealer for him. Cause I've been looking at those dubbing brush tables for a long time and I'm, I'm ready for one 18 inch dubbing brushes, dude. Crazy. I mean, it's nuts, but anyhow, well, that's enough plugging him cause you don't have him yet, but some of the, some of the things you do have, what are some of the shortages that are coming up that we need to look at and what are the alternatives? Cause I know you said that you'll contact somebody if, if they contact you and you're out, you will try and do a substitute. But one of the things that I saw was UTC wire. Mm -hmm. What What's the status with wire? So it's everything that comes from Wopsy, which is UTC, Ultra Thread, all that stuff comes from there, the wire. Um, <clears throat> they don't have any. They just they can't get it to their suppliers because they don't have it. I don't know what the issue that caused it is. They're in Mountain Home, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. um, so we do have Simperfly wire. Okay. Some replacement. Uh, the other thing is bucktail. Um, I was getting Wopsy bucktail through Nature Spirit. They don't have it anymore. So I've got some medium bucktails in. They're a little cheaper. They're just not as long. The, the length of the fibers is still the same length, but the overall bucktail is smaller. Um, hooks is the other thing, especially Daiichi hooks. Um, so we've got the Komodo uh, and the TM code to make up for that. Hasn't Daiichi had a problem for a little bit longer than right now? <laughs> Seems like every six months something happens with them. I mean, I like their hooks, but it seems like two years ago before the pandemic, I was at a fly shop out by Montauk and they were telling me they had issues with Daiichi. Mm -hmm. I've always had problems getting them in and out. Uh, we did also become a Gamakatsu dealer. That's the other thing I forgot to bring I, up. I do like those. And we can get the 100 packs of those, which a lot of people dig, like the BTN, B10S and stuff like that. Yeah. The uh, B10S in size size one streamer hook and size two jig hook. The jig hook that size, uh, that's what I normally use for, my, or used to use, I guess I should say, for my pig jig. Mm -hmm. And the one is what I normally use for a lot of my bait fish. And I, I've liked those. Now, that being said, looking at the price of Fly Tires Dungeons hooks, mm hmm as long as he can keep getting them in with the regularity, I think that you're probably going to sell more of those. Does really he think. have the big uh, jig hooks like that? Oh, he, have you not seen? I ha I seen the um, predator hooks he came out with. No, but I didn't dude. really pay a whole lot of attention, honestly. This is a five aught jig hook that he makes, and he makes from one oh, wow. to five aught. Now you can tie a. As long as your vice will hold it, you can tie a pig jig on this and you're going to be winning every time because it's just a gnarly, big jig hook. You can offset your eyes enough to bring it up because um, on a lot of them, this shank between the bend and the eye is not big enough. But man, you can put your lead weight right there and just stand that baby up. And that's that's going to be a game changer for me next year when I start tying more flies this winter on that hook. Yeah. I got a flight tires dungeon order to go in tomorrow. So I'm probably going to throw a bunch of hooks on there too. Cause I, I would, I would bad. throw them on there. The price point on them from everything I've seen is absolutely amazing. And I've tested these. Um, he sent me before they ever went on sale. He sent me some hooks and I took a, a hammer and I nailed them into firewood. And then I grabbed a pair of pliers and I wrenched them out and it still drew blood. Yeah, that's so what I need. When I touch the finger. I mean, they're sharp. I've, I've, I've really been very careful because as sharp as, as you know, that point is just, it's stupid sharp. I mean, I, I have fished them and I like them, but man, the, the quality of the hook it's 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 a very thick hook so when you're putting it in your vice if your vice only goes up to a, a two watt you know it's 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 thick it's a thick two watt um this is a really thick five watt um you know so if you've got a peak vice you can change the, mm -hmm. the jaws on it and i would highly suggest if you're tying streamers and and you know 
I don't have a promo code with with FTD, but I've got a promo code with you. Co- promo code kayak to save whenever you shop at dooleysflyfishing.com. Yeah, I'll probably get them on the website in the next week if I can get them in from him. I, I'm pretty excited about that. So yeah, they're they're gorgeous, man. I like them a lot, and I don't say that about a lot of things, but. You know, Tony and the mad scientist really have their materials going on and they're always looking. Um, we're going to get mad scientist and Tony on together, I think, and probably Rick. It's going to be a zoo um, because they all know each other. Oh, boy. And it's so hilarious to hear them talk to one another. Um, but, you know, the mad scientist, the, his whole driving factor behind having cheaper products or less expensive cheap has a negative connotation to it less expensive products that you're getting from other places for more money is because he likes to tie flies and he wants you to like to tie flies mm-hmm. and that's why i was so excited when you got his stuff because i'm like man this is a whole new world of people to actually be able to go in and see and touch and feel those materials because i thought they were junk you know I th- how can they sell it for that? And I bought some stuff and I was like, okay, I'm impressed. I called him on the phone. I talked to him. I was impressed. I got him on the podcast and I've always been impressed. So, yeah. Yeah, not only the price, but some of the uniqueness of some of the stuff he has. You just cannot find anything like that anywhere, especially all those dubbings and you just can't beat it. I quit tying woolly buggers. I just tie with the MS bugger dubbing. I just make a loop and I tie them up and they catch everything. You can put a marabou tail on it if you want, but man, when the trout aren't eating anything, I throw one of those in tan olive or black and bang, mm-hmm. I'm hooking up down at the spring river. It's, it's just neat because you've got the rubber legs in there and the, and then you can buy most of the stuff individually and mix your own even if you know what, you know, and you can get a hold of people and they will tell you how to do it. I mean, uh, he's got a starburst dubbing, which is like an ice dub. Mm-hmm. Well, you mix that with whatever color you want. Now you've got ice dub in that color. It's beautiful. <laughs> he's got know? that big game dubbing Clyde. I use that all the time for bait fish patterns. Oh, yeah. It's it's kind of like laser dub, only twice as long and has a lot cooler colors. Yeah, and it's it's amazing. But, yeah, if you guys haven't bought from Fly Tires Dungeon, hit up uh, dualeastflyfishing.com, promo code kayak to save 15% try out some stuff from fly tires i mean he is he's amazing and i've been actually he's had some shortages too with hook Mm -hmm. shanks and hook joints but especially if you're predatory fishing these hooks are the way to go because he's that's all he's focusing on are predator hooks so it makes it really nice so what is your um you've got echo Mm -hmm. What is have you had a chance to cast very many of them yet? I've casted the lift. I took it out, put a line on it, and flung it around on the street out here, and it was it's awesome for the for ninety nine bucks. It's unbelievable. Is was do they have a warranty on there? They do. It's the same as I think it's a lifetime as long as you don't shut it in the tailgate. It's warranted. Okay, so it's a little bit different than TFO, but it's like the majority of them. Mm -hmm. It's very similar to the other brands I had in stock. and they've, I just got the lift in, but I've got so many orders. Um, they're kind of trickling in, and then I'm putting in a humongous monster order for next year where we'll have one of everything they make, hopefully. Nice. Um, they've got some fiberglass rods that people really like. They've got a, a surf fiberglass rod called the Badass Glass that's a really hot rod. Now, glass rods, thank you very much. My I beer assistant. Brought, curtains at my house. My that's beer assistant book. brought me a new beer. <laughs> I got, I got to watch it uh, fast and loud the other day. I decided I needed a beer a beer assistant, so I uh, <laughs> I also like his haircut. I may color my hair gray just for that. Oh boy! Um, I don't have enough to worry about it anymore. It's... Talking about glass rods, um, I was looking at Gink and Gasoline today. They had, I think it was uh, Justin Pickett wrote an article about glass rods should be the rod for the beginner. Mm-hmm. And I got to thinking about that. My first fly rod was a glass rod. Mine was and, a yellow eagle claw fiberglass rod. Yeah. And I really think that there is something to be said about new folks coming in pick up a glass rod. I mean, it's never going to wear out. You're never going to, you know, it's 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 like any other rod. It's just more forgiving 
and it's got the flex in it where you can feel it load and it teaches mm-hmm. you to not develop bad habits while you cast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think they're great. I, and they've got uh, one called the River Glass, which is a smaller glass rod for trout fishing. That's really nice too. Yeah, yeah. I know. Um, <clears throat> you know, I know Pablo builds all kinds of rods. So I, I don't want to throw him under the bus, but you know, he can do them. You know, custom. But if you if you don't want a custom rod, you know check out a uh, check out a glass rod and, and that's one thing we do need to do um when i come up on the second is we need to video casting at some mm-hmm. point in time because like if kyle and i come up early which i'm hoping we do he and i can go over to the park and we can do some videos for you yeah. casting so we close at two and my plan is from two to five to try to get everything ready. So if you guys are up here any time between there, we can do whatever you want to do. I, I was going to be there at nine o'clock in the morning to tap the keg. Perfect. You can hang out all day. <laughs> I'll put you on phone duty because this phone has been ringing off the hook. I hit silence on it three times. We'll just Facebook live the entire session. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah. That way everybody could get to go. Just follow, follow me around for Facebook live as I annoy people. Get a, uh, how we can and just walk around. Yeah. Yeah. Just walk around. <laughs> Nick, I tell you what, I am very excited about next month's, uh, fly box. I want to see what that is. I'm very excited to talk to you about the new thing that Kyle and I are doing, because I would love to, to work with you on that just because you're such a great guy. Um, and I can't encourage you enough. If you don't have a like local fly shop and you've got to go online, please check out Dooley's Fly Fishing. Nick is a great guy. He's a great American, former paramedic. You know, I mean, you've heard him talk about the things, and now he's it's a young man's game. Now he's opening up his own store. He's doing the American dream, guys. Nothing wrong with any of the other fly shops out there. Like I said, I went to Dally's. It was nice. I went to Copper John's. I really enjoyed my experience. I still order my stuff from Dooley because – well, he's not in a in a town that's uh, the trout capital of the USA like Cotter claims to be, um, you know, but check him out, guys. And especially if you're in Illinois, if you're in Chicago, you know, make the short drive. If you're in St. Louis and you're a big fan of hard groves or you're a big fan of uh, Feathercraft, guys, make that extra drive just to see another fly shop, because sometimes we get complacent with fly shops. You know, sometimes we do check him out let him know anything else nick you want to plug all your stuff so people know how to get to you uh so our website is www.dualiesflyfishing.com um we've also got a facebook and an instagram a youtube and now a tiktok which i finally figured out how to do which is uh all of those are at Dooley's fly fishing uh the number to the shop is 217-214-FISH so that's uh, easy to remember, and our address is 433 Hampshire, Quincy, Illinois, 62301. Contact us any of those means. I'll answer you as soon as I can. And um, Like I said, I talk to people all day, every day. Don't, don't hesitate to reach out with anything. Well, let's do this, Nick. Let's do this for our listeners. If you call Nick or, or make an order through Nick and you use promo code KAYAK, we're recording this. On 824, it'll be out on uh, 831 is when this should be out. Between 831 and October 2nd, every promo code kayak, can you put them one entry in for me to send them a free cutthroat leader? Yeah. yeah can you keep that. track of that for me? And then you just do a do like a waffle and I will mail them as long as you're in the United States shipping. Dude, Canada, shipping to Canada, Canada is insane. Canada. Shipping, oh, to, no. shipping to Canada is horrible. If you're in Puerto Rico, Alaska, Hawaii, United States, I'll ship you a leader. Um, but yeah, if you use promo code kayak, your name will be in the running. And uh, heck, we might even invite you on the show for five minutes after you get it to talk about how much you love it. <clears throat> that would be funny. But yeah, that'd be a great way. You know, we want to help you out everywhere we can, and that gives folks uh, another reason to have an entire month to uh, to order from you and get their name in for the drawing. And you can I'll even do that, that spinny wheel. Question. You can even put it on live where you do the spinny wheel and yeah, people can see who got it. Because people were uh, bringing the pitchforks out when I was just picking numbers. So yeah, yeah, you got to do the spinny days. wheel. But yeah, do the spinny wheel thing, and we will uh, get that in the mail to you. Sounds great.
Yeah, and whoever wins, we're going to hold their order until October 2nd to mail it. Give <laughs> the three dollars in shipping. <laughs> hey, it, it all adds up. Some of the uh, shipping costs are insane. I tell you what, I almost had to pay taxes last year, but thanks to my giveaways and shipping costs, I was okay. That's what that does. It. I think this is the year I have to pay taxes. So, what is that they say? It's not how much money you make; it's how much money you hide from the government. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> and you know you can get your each one of your kids can make a certain amount of money they can because they can start working once they're like 12 at a family business 12 and there's no minimum wage and they're well aware of this so. right and so <laughs> you go to the bank and you get you a safety deposit box and you put all that cash in there mm -hmm. and you hide that from the government and the federales can't get you oh they'll find a way it's illinois man <laughs> Where the governors make the license plates. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know if you saw my post on my personal page earlier. Yeah. About what I dealt with earlier, but yeah. yeah. Dude, I'm that. six days in. Six days into the school year. Kids are in quarantine. And I'm sitting there going, we had nothing all summer long. Yeah, I know. And, and the and funny enough, it's like I don't think the kid was symptomatic. I don't know what how the test came about, but now, you know, failure to plan is planning to fail, which this podcast is an excellent example of. But now it's like, okay, now we've got to do all the, and I'm sitting there going, man, just call it or leave it alone, you know. And now I'm talking. My dad passed away from COVID, so mm -hmm. I mean, I know it's a real deal. But I'm sitting there going, we can't, in my opinion, it's, it's, it's tough to, on the kids. Oh yeah. You know, it's not, but I can wear a mask. It's not bad for me. You know what I mean? It's, it's really rough on adolescents and, and young teens. It's being there working and seeing that it is tough. And, and I, board is one of the ones that's refusing to do it. So they're losing all their funding and everything else. So. Yeah. And you know, parents are so, this is such a controversial topic. Mm -hmm. I mean, back during the election, it was, will you get a vaccine? Well, only if the science proves it and then the election changes and all the people who are pro vaccine suddenly became anti vaccine. And, I don't want to get into any of the, I don't care what you believe politically, as long as you support our sponsors and Dooley's fly fishing, you're okay with us. I'll but take man, that was money. <laughs> it's, it is, it's so wild. You can't and, see anything anymore. Yeah. But you know, yeah. the, the beautiful thing is, is evidently COVID doesn't live in sunshine. So get you a fly rod and get your ass out on the river. Hey, How's man. that? Is that a good, is that, is that the uh, best kayak flyer public service announcement we can do? That is perfect. Yeah. Get you a fishing rod and get your ass out on the river. That'll, that'll take care of uh transmission. All right, buddy. I took a drink of beer there. I'm sorry. Right, I'm fine. Well, we are right at the hour mark. We weren't even going an hour. You're like, I don't want to go an hour. And I'm like, ah, we can go an hour. We're right at an hour. All right. Well, I appreciate it, man. I will see you on the second. I will be doing Facebook Live from Dooley's Fly Fishing on the second. Um, I'm going to see if Polly Ann wants to go. I'm going to try to get Nick Chiberia to go. Uh, Kyle and I will show up at some point in time. It depends on how many bars we see in between the here and there, because <laughs> I think he's a bigger uh, lush than I am, and we'll figure it all out. But come by uh, October 2nd. Plan your trip. Plan your trip to Quincy, Illinois. All right, guys, this is Sean. Uh, we'll see you next week. We don't have a guest yet, so we'll figure out who it is. <laughs> it may be Nick Dooley. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. Thank you.